Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. The people of Birim and surrounding communities are now excited. Months after Mission's visit, the only health centre has been renovated after years of neglect. A collapsed bridge linking the community to the rest of the Cetra Central District is also receiving attention after Mission's reports and Bright Nana Amfo reports. Residents are looking forward to improved health care delivery. This is what will welcome you to Brim, a community of 3,000 and more. The rainy season worsens matters. Drivers simply overwhelmed. This whole community here, they don't have any assemblyman or MP here to solve their problem for us. No? It is not fair, as we can see, you know, we are all suffering. You have to uh, complete this bridge for us so that every problem will be solved. Healthcare was therefore a challenge. The only health center was in a bad state. Residents could not also go to the district capital to access health care, particularly during the rainy season. Mission had reported earlier of the precarious situation and the assembly acted upon this. Renovation works started. The over 3,000 residents of Birim are now excited. Staffing was a challenge as many refused postings. But this has changed. We still have um, shortage of human resource, even though the government has recently uh, posted some staff to our district. But the problem that we are having is that as soon as they mention that you are going to such a central district, then they start lobbying through other influential people. At the moment, we have about 18 people who have been posted to the districts, but we are still waiting for them. We have only three who have actually reported for permanent duties. District authorities want to improve healthcare delivery. We started that project when the the rains were falling heavily yeah and so we're bashed actually the people were not happy uh, at that time that we had to rip off the roof and then re-roof it again but we kept on and uh, now we have done a lot i think that it is ready for us to be to begin operation but a lot more has to be done the facility is not connected to the national grid this structure was in a very dilapidated state until it was renovated. Staff here are now happy, at least they can work in a very confident and comfortable environment. Their worry, however, is about electricity. The facility is not connected to the national grid, and so vaccines are stored in a private person's house. What is the fear? The fear is that they cannot trust whatever goes on there when the vaccines are left in that person's house. The house receives power from this communication mast and health staff are not happy. When you come to the CWC, then we have to go to our district counter for the vaccine. Then when we come and use and then there's a leftover. And if the leftover is so huge that we have to take them to Afranso. But if left with a small quantity, then we take them to our chief palace and store. So you can imagine that is a domestic fridge. So when you get there, they can push it aside. They will not be able to determine whether the vaccine are in the correct temperature. District health authorities are on top of dealing with health challenges in the Brim area. We have a solar panel equipment, a small capacity solar panel equipment. There used to be two, but one got broken. And so we want to enhance the capacity by buying a bigger capacity panel and then maybe inverters that will be able to provide some amount of uh, electricity to help them run the, the, the appliances that need electricity. The Cetra Central District says Brim Health Center's challenges will be fixed soon. By July, the contractor will be on site. 
materials and everything is almost ready. There should be a final sign of agreement between the Indian company and, and the government, and then they will bring it. You see, if this will have light, it's, it's the next town beyond, if you're talking about Tunzu, in my area. And you look at where Brim is. There's a market at the place. We have the clinic, a lot of schools. It holds around about 30 communities are around Brim. So any development that goes into Brim town itself has some athletes of some other communities that will come and enjoy it. So that, that's the area we've been fighting for. And I think that designs, everything has been done. They give us the deadline should be between June and July where the contractor will come. And that one is an Indian company. And they have some level of resources. So it will be quick when the project starts. The Brim Health Center provides care for many residents in that part of the district and the assembly says it is committed to improving services to the people. Bright Nananfo, TV3, Brim. Let's go to the central region where the Cape Coast Metropolitan Assembly and the Education Directorate are working at improving infrastructure. One of the oldest schools in Cape Coast Metropolis, that Jubilee Catholic School, is receiving attention and classes are suspended anytime it rains due to flooding. Bright Nana Amfo reports a new roof has been completed while efforts are underway to renovate the entire structure. Somebody left Mark. Time. Well, school is about 80 years old. It has trained several highly educated members of society, but the structure had been left to deteriorate. Metro engineers say the structure is strong and solid, but the roof leaks badly. Anytime it rains, lessons are disrupted. Sometimes the school, the classroom has already flooded. When we get inside the classroom, in fact, it's very difficult for us to teach. The decks are wet, children cannot even sit on the desk. So sometimes we have to ask the children to leave the classroom, wait for some time for the desk to get dry. This had a negative effect on teaching and learning. The Metro Assembly was recording very poor records. The problem has to do with the uh, rotten iron sheets. And then that uh, causes the entire system because when the reinforce it gets to the blocks and then you see cracks in the whole wall. And as soon as the rains even start drizzling, no schooling could be uh, held there because the whole first floor, I mean the top one, will leave provisionally. School authorities were worried and so a quick fix was needed. The Metro Assembly came to the aid of the school. We reported to the assembly uh, about a couple of years ago and last year they captured in their assembly budget. But about a month ago they started work on it. Actually the basic work has to do with the roofing and then the ceiling. Because of the rains, uh, the leakages, all the, I mean the boss, the wooden boss are also rotten. So work, assembly has done well, work has started. A new roof has been fixed. The last school term delayed the completion of works and district education authorities say the whole building will be rehabilitated once work on the roof is completed. As I speak now, roofing work has uh, started and we are waiting for the rest of the work to be completed. The Metro Education Directorate says enrollment is encouraging and so the necessary infrastructure must be put in place to ensure every child gets the opportunity to have quality education. We are not leaving them behind. Even though the sea is there, and when you go there, they are also there. But I've been getting them all the time here. There was a time about a month ago, a boy came with a mother that uh, he wouldn't go to school. That he would have to join the friends in fishing. Yeah. That's where they can get instant benefits. The cooperation between the Education Directorate and the Assembly is achieving results in improving education. This structure is as old as Methuselah, constructed in 1939. It has certainly battled the vagaries of the weather, and the roofing and several other parts are giving up. But the Cape Coast Metro Assembly and the Education Directorate are bent on ensuring that teaching and learning is done in a congenial environment. They are making all efforts to have the problems fixed, though funding remains a challenge. But the commitment is there that this structure will be renovated 
to ensure a congenial learning and teaching environment. Bright Nananfo, TV3, Cape Coast. And that's it for Mission. Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Thanks so much for your time.